So hi and welcome back. I wasn't going to do a video on Sunday and it's now Monday and I've decided to do a video about uh, us being film photographers and the financial crisis and I just wanted to go over a few things that, that are affecting I guess me and many other people in the price and the cost of things like film and workarounds that we can do uh, to make it easier for us. Um, and I just literally I'm just doing it straight to camera I've not really planned this so I'm gonna you may see the camera jump about a bit when I stop and start when I talk about it but the first thing I want to say is that um, I kind of get really narked when companies that sell film all of a sudden put a 25% discount on a particular film why can't they do that all the time it, it's it, you know it's like oh we we'll reduce this one by a pound and that sort of thing and it's like well do you know what if you can do it by a pound now, why can't you do it all year round? You know, just make your film cheaper. I know things are getting more expensive and, um, you know, I'm just thinking, you know, do we need fancy packaging? Because we're paying for it. Every time that we, we I, I buy film from, from different uh, companies and they put little things inside, that's not a free gift from them. I'm paying for that because they have to put that in their costs. So that's kind of like that bit, bit out of the way. I just wanted to get that out of the way because because I, I see it all the time, and it's not just one company. There's many companies that have this with. So so I'm not trying to finger point at anyone in particular at all. So what are our workarounds? And I'm not really going to talk about black and white. I'm going to talk about color because black and white film, uh, you can. I mean, it is getting a lot more expensive, but there are films still that are within a reasonable price, like the Foma Pan. And, and the Adox films, they're still really, really, really quite um, inexpensive to buy. And if you home develop, then they remain even cheaper. And I know the cost of developing has gone up. And that is now why I actually do my own developing at home with the black and white. And now I send away the film for color development, but I don't have them scanned anymore. I now actually use uh, some software on Darktable to convert my color photo to colors negatives into positives and it's not the most successful of thing it's never going to be as accurate as a lab but each time i'm saving probably nine pounds on each roll of film so there is that to it so what are the alternatives to color negative film and, and i know I, I can't go into which particular films at particular prices but we've seen them all go up one of the things that i have found is and been able to get quite cheaply is near expired, when I say near expired, I mean within the past three or four years, color film. And some of the films I've been buying that have been older than that, I've had a little less success with. So I've used some Konica, and I've used some Precisa, and I've used some Agfa Vista to, uh, to, to use as color films. Now each of one of them has cost five pounds. So I bought them in bulk. So basically, I bought four or five rolls. So the you know the, the Precisa was I think it was twenty five pound for the five rolls plus postage and packing. So you can see how much cheaper they are. But then you have the problem with the color accuracy. The one thing I have obviously found is the ones that have been expired for take two, three, four years. They tend to be fine, and you don't necessarily need to actually make any different changes to them. Um, the ones that have been long expired, like the Konica, I've had some really quite poor results. Now you'll see the stuff I've been doing with without expired film here. And it's just a risk you take, but for five quid, I'd rather go out and take some colour film that, you know, you don't know what's going to happen with it, than spend £16 on a roll of film and then another £12, £14, £15 pounds on having it processed and scanned. And I'll show you the software I use as well on this video of, of, of how I uh, edit an actual negative into a positive and you can see that that process take place also I've, I've been fortunate enough to be able to have a macro lens so I can actually copy I use a, a light box and I copy using the light box so I'll show you that as well um, but you don't have to necessarily have a light box to do it you can I wouldn't use a mobile phone to uh, copy negatives I don't see I just really don't see the point in that when you can get a digital camera and I bought originally when I was doing the photography I was originally using close-up filters um, they're not as good but 
uh, as, as like a macro lens and you have problems with distortions and stuff I could show you some of my shots that I did when I originally started and you'd never notice that they were that I basically put this on a 28 to 70 zoom lens with a with a with a times 10 close-up filter so that is an, another alternative you can use so I just wanted to do this video just to show you or, to, or explain to you what can be done what we can do we can still do with color film and as I say black and white there's still plenty of stuff out there that's that's relatively cheap and I really hope you, hope you enjoyed this video and I'm just trying to think of things to do because obviously it's becoming more and more difficult for me to, to make videos weekly because obviously the finance side of it I'm not asking for anything from anybody um, but that's what I'm trying to explain that's why I'm not doing as going to be doing as many videos over the coming months until I can afford I know I can afford to do it I've got a few things planned which I am going to do and I've got some um, RPX 25, some Rode RPX 25 in the camera at the moment and I'll be doing that this week. I've got to go into London to do that, so I'll do that and explain to you why you need, when you're working with a 25 ISO film, you need to have low contrast light, not high contrast light. Uh, anyway, that's all to come. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you shortly.